Good afternoon, morning, evening, weekend to ya. My name's Rob Wheatley, this is Rob Lands Vids. Welcome to Disgrace Lands. How the devil are you people? Ah, oh, all is well here. Today, I've got to say, first of all, man, what's the fuck that's going on? It, uh, water, I'm afraid. No. No. Percent. Anyway, I'm going down the pub in a minute. That's why I'm, I've had a beer because of the Grand Prix. I'm going down the pub in a minute. So I just sort of <coughs> do this. Um, I spent yesterday the whole day. I was about to go down the pub at about three in the afternoon. I've just been messing about. What had happened is a few couple of days ago, I found an old uh, Reaper project, an old uh, recording project that I'd completely forgotten about. And I was going through deleting stuff and just checking what was what. And this thing was called MIDI Zoom, because I've got a Zoom 234 drum machine and I'd recorded something on that. That was rubbish, so I abandoned that, but underneath it, I basically, as a completely separate project, dumped some couple of drum tracks and just played a really basic guitar to it, which was sort of like this. Um, about doing that for about four minutes didn't really go anywhere so at some point I'd gone back and I'd cut a few sections out of that and then reverse those sections so it all goes <laughs> and all that and stuck those in strategic places and then I'd gone back and then copied the entire four minute guitar track and pasted it onto the end of itself and then reversed the whole of the second half so now it's like an eight minute track and the second half of the guitar is all going <laughs> like that you see Yesterday, yesterday, I, yeah, I had a look at it. Or the day before yesterday, I had a look at it and added a few, just a synth on it, a wobbly synth. It was quite nice going. I just did a couple of notes on that. Anyway, yesterday, you see, what happened was I um, got to about three o'clock. There was no Formula One on because of the rain in Suzuka or the typhoon. Um, they cancelled all the quality on Saturday and all that. So. About three o'clock, I'll just go down to the pub, have a quick beer, maybe come back and do something on the on the recording. And I, before I left, I thought I just had this idea. I just go, oh, just if I can just get another drum loop and process it and filter it, and then put that through a gate sequencer, chop it up. That was the idea. So all I meant to do was just get a drum loop, a pre-recorded drum loop. I've got hundreds of these. You download them from places like Music Radar and all that. And I was just going to dump it on there. But before I did that, I thought, oh, hang on. I might be able to find a synth and just create a sound with it. <clears throat> I spent the next 45 minutes creating, I found, a, I didn't know I had this synth, software synth called Thunder, and basically it imitates thunder, because we all need that. Um, and what does it do? It imitates thunder. So this is where it all started, you see. And this, any of you know, do, don't do this sort of thing. It's a bloody hole so it sort of does this except it doesn't I have to do that obviously and that bollocks so you can design your own thunder you can have the as long as you want and the so I had that because it then levels out nicely and it's good timing but then obviously that's not enough so I then put it through a thing called Divine Machine which is this wobbly device that sort of spins round and round and uh, it sort of does that to it and then I put it through a wazzy delay which is like two delays and it does this to it which is great. So that's where it started. So that took me about three quarters of an hour to do that, right? So now I'm deep into this and I still haven't gone down the pub and it's like pushing four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm thinking, right, okay, that's cool. I don't need to go to the pub just yet. I'll just, I'll just need, because if I pan that out, so by the time I'd rendered that and messed about with it and, you know, 
worked out what I was going to do with it. You know, that was an hour gone. So, okay, that's fine. And that's just a little percussion thing. That's really, really low in the mix. It sits there very, very low. And, um, yeah. And so, that, so then I'm thinking, okay, <clears throat> what else can I do? And I, I, I suddenly thought I need another percussive thing to happen. Um, and what I did, there's, a, there's another bit of software I've got called Shaker Maker, which is another free VST. And any audio you put into it, it will turn it into a sort of, it will filter it and turn it into a sort of shaker, which you can then tune. And again, you can mess with and get a sound. So again, where did I get the audio from? I got the audio from the guitar. <laughs> That guitar track, I just rooted, routed, rooted, routed, stuck, dumped it through there, plugged it in on software into the other track and just got that to generate all the sound for the shaker. So now I have the Origin guitar, which is this. Would be if it were playing. That one. That guitar, sorry. Idiot Weekly, Idiot Weekly, this guitar. And so I dumped it into Shaker Maker and turned it into this. You can hear it. It sounds a bit like a distorted speaker as well, I did that on purpose. And then I put it through a thing called Shatter Sync, which does this to it. So it gates it and sequences it and fil filters it. So it's, so it's quite a weird sound, it's like this distorted sort of like a, like a broken speaker sort of thing, but I quite like it, it just sits there in the background. So now we've got all these things, we've got the thunder, we've got the wobbly bit, we've got the, uh, the shaker, we've got all that stuff. Um, the drums, I've, I'm not quite sure with the main drums at the moment what I'm going to do with them, where I'm going to keep them. I've been messing about with filming those today, so we will see. I still haven't gone down the pub today, I'm not, I'm not doing any more after this, I'm going down the effing pub. So, um, oh, what I also, oh yeah, so then <clears throat> that goes on for about four minutes, that section, which may be cut down by a minute or so, but there's still a few more things I want to do on that. See, I haven't actually plugged the guitar in, the electric guitar, and done stuff on it yet. So there's all that to do um, on the first section, so that's going to be fun. So once we got through the whole of the first section, which, you know, carries on and does this sort of thing. There's occasionally another synth that goes I'm going to on through here as well for the hell of it because you've got to like So there you go. So that goes on for a bit, you see, and then I thought, well, yeah, when the guitar reverses, hmm, the whole thing sort of does this. So I've literally just glued it back onto itself. Where's Origin Guitar? Origin Guitar 1, sorry. There it is. Um, yeah, basically what I've done is I literally just cut and pasted it onto itself and crossfaded it into itself so it does this. And now it's reversed. That's the whole track being played backwards again over itself. So now I'm thinking, what can I do with that? Because I didn't want to keep the same drums and shit, so basically I got rid of those and um, went and found something a bit more um, entertaining. Uh, and I found... this. Because, uh, you know, why wouldn't you? But, you know, that's not enough, is it, really? 
I see, I've got to do something interesting with it every so often. So every eight bars or something, I've cut a lump of it out, stuck it on another track, and then stuck that through a glitch machine and dumped that over the top as well. So every so often, you'll do this. Because again, why wouldn't you? Now, you know, that's all right. But, um, you know, you need something to counterbalance that once you come out the other end of that, all that glitchy stuff. Otherwise, you know, what are you doing? And so this happens. And where did I get this from? Sequence Groove Wav. I got this from somewhere as well. Um, what the hell was the original track? I used a synthesizer, a synth called Seek One, Seek One version two. Uh, and then did I do something to that? Who knows, I probably did something to it. No, I didn't. I just left it as it was. No effects, just as nature intended. So that's rather awesome, and that does this. It would do if it were playing. this. Because, you know, you need to do that sort of stuff. Um, so what you sort of get by the time I've done that is like you know, a bit of glitch drums and a bit of excitement and things like that. I've lost myself now, where the hell am I? <laughs> yep, so we get a bit of this. Also another synth called Phase Wave as well going underneath now. Now you see, now that, I thought, well, yeah, okay, that's all very well and good, isn't it? But wouldn't it be nice if you had some, maybe just something a little bit extra going on? And I've been listening to some, quite a bit of um, uh, Samuel John Samuelson Big Band. Samuel, Samuel John Samuelson Big Band, who are, um, you know, obviously an Icelandic uh, Afro-funk uh, big band. Because, you know, you've got to listen to something, haven't you? And, um, yes. So, I did this, which is, you know, doesn't sound as good on its own, does it? And then I added this. So now we've got all this going on, um, and what you sort of end up with when it changes over is you sort of end up with um, it goes from sort of this. Yeah, and this is what I've been doing my afternoon, so uh, here we go. I've still got to put more guitars on this yet, so there's going to be filthy effing guitars on this, so really nasty. I've been doing some stuff this morning, so... Have a good day. There's Dave McCallum. He's disgusted because he's having to look at water instead of real alcohol. 
So this will be, I'll, I'll carry on working on this tomorrow, later, whatever, but uh, it's like, I'm not later because I'm going out, so. Uh, it's exciting, isn't it? That's all you're getting. Uh, take care, good people. I'll see you on the next one.